私は私の全能力を用いてギリシャ異文隊をこの星の未来にする星を覆う大会の向こう空の海さえ渡らんとする大いなる運ぶねそれは世界の事象そのものいわく全能の耐震とフェイトグランドオーダーコスモス・イン・ザ・ロストベルト聖艦都市山脈オリュンポス Hello everyone! Welcome back for some more Let's Play Fate Grand Order. We now have Anki Caligula with us, whom, despite being in like the opening movie, which I was just like, oh yeah, there he is. Like, I, I, I noticed him, but I never really took note of him. And now I'm like, oh yeah, no, he's totally there, huh? Uh, which makes me very curious as to if he's getting a bigger role. Anyway, speaking of. We actually have some real combat. Ooh, two more of those. That's good. Yeah, I want to know what I'm fighting. So let's uh, let's go through the story first as we continue. Thou art the ardor that corrupts the stars. Part three. Oh, hey, the laggards return. The laggards? Yeah, who's ever used that term? That's right. It took freaking forever to get back here. So you're laggards. Hey, could be worse. <laughs> what if we'd never come back at all? Come on, Canis, can't you be a little more understanding? There's nothing to understand. You're laggards and dipshits, and that's all there is to it. Why you have to use such language? It's not nice. Maybe so, but you could still sugarcoat it a bit. Can if you call us names for being late. You can't really complain if we call you the names the next time you're late. Can I also say, when I upload these videos, I have to basically, like, check off if there's any inappropriate content. And, like, for the most part, I don't have to for these videos. But every time Canis appears, it's like, yes, there's mild language. And YouTube's like, oh, okay, you just, you just barely get by with monetization. But I'm looking at you. Actually, it says, like, uh, because I've done it for, like, a video a day for, like, years, they're like, yeah, your reputation is spot on enough with what you do that you're, you're good. You have a good track record of properly labeling your videos for monetization, which is like, oh, that's not bad. Huh. Across that bridge when we come to it. Actually, no, that shit ain't happening. Later, no. <laughs> if anyone even seems to come close to insulting me, they die. Oh, you. I was only going to wait another hour or so before I didn't back to the base or the border. Eh, at least you're here now. Oh, my. I did not know I was keeping a proud warrior waiting. Forgive me for the trouble I've caused you and allow me to make a formal apology. I am truly sorry and also most grateful for your patience. I hope we may put this behind us and join as comrades in our battle against the gods. What? Who the hell's this guy? <laughs> He's supposed to be Emperor, Emperor Caligula. Right, Senpai, this is Emperor Caligula, the third emperor of the ancient Roman Empire. He's a heroic spirit from proper human history, although... It, it, Cal Caligula? Buddy? Some, something wrong? Strange. Well, these underground corridors that connect the Alliance space to the surface are indeed free from Zeus's surveillance. I also recall them being guarded by a large, hostile machine. And yet I can no longer sense anything of the sort here. What does this mean? If you're talking about Argos, Mordred's gang already took care of it. So, don't worry, Caligula. The underground's safer than ever now. I see. It's not just me. He's really talking, right? Y yes, he is. I'm still not sure what to make of it. I've never seen Caligula spoke, speak so fluently before. And if he's one of the heroic spirits in the Alliance... I thought all the God Destroyer heroic Alliance spirits were wiped out? Uh, um... How can I put this... Oh, what the heck, I'll just come out and say it. We didn't tell you about him before because... We decided to go for dramatic effect. Of course you did. Of course. Foo! Foo runs! <laughs> Are you serious, AI? <laughs> now, now, militarily speaking, it's perfectly legitimate to describe losing forces and no longer be able to continue our operation as wiped out. Hmm? That's odd. It seems we're having uh, uh, technical issues on our connection. Foo foo! Please don't be too hard on them. We never told you the truth until now either. Oh, no, I'm sorry. We're shocked, yes, but we're not angry. 
ah, besides, there's no point in lecturing a bunch of AI personas. I mean, they don't even exist, really. All right, good point. At any rate, it's wonderful to know we have another capable ally now. From here on, we can include Caligula as part of our operations. Yeah, that's true. We'll definitely be having Caligula come along with us from here on. Especially after the Alliance. We messed up last time. Oh? So it was a bad call on your part that got everyone else killed? Would you agree that that's a fair interpretation of what you just said, Makarios? How are you losers doing out there? Canis, you should know that nobody wins every battle they fight in a war. Yes, some great generals in proper human history might have come close, but they never had to go up against a god. And there's definitely never been a general anywhere who could win every battle they wage against multiple gods. So do you really think it's fair to just dismiss their efforts with the hell were you doing? Yeah, guess you got a point. Okay, take it back. Sheesh, you always get serious out of nowhere. <laughs> so Gainus doesn't apologize, but is willing to take things back, huh? I knew there was a strong sense of responsibility buried somewhere in there. In fact, I'll do you one better. Divine spirits are one thing, but you brats were up against an actual god. Hell, not just one, but a whole bunch of gods. I'd say you did pretty damn well under the circumstances. Caligula is our secret weapon. Just like the Seven Link Heroic Spirit Cannon was in our battle against Demeter. Oh? Yeah, oh? Huh? Caligula? This cheap guy? Okay. That's why everyone in the Alliance agreed to keep him hidden until Operation God destroyed his final stage. So then, why didn't you hide him here in the base? For fum? I expect it was most like an effort not to concentrate their assets in one place. It may have been a different story if they had been able to perfectly secure their base, but as things stand, if they had kept all their eggs in the, this proverbial basket, a single successful strike would have meant the end of the Alliance. Exactly. The underground infrastructure where we kept our base is very vulnerable to massive strikes, like what Demeter was capable of. That's why we hid Caligula in the East District. Freezing him let us completely hide his magical energy. And it didn't draw any attention, since there's plenty of Olympians who freeze themselves when they feel like taking really long naps. What? You could just do that? Okay. The only problem is that... Aphrodite happened to show up, and the whole East, team dist East District team was wiped out as a result. Right. We're not going to make that same mistake again. This time, we're going to fight back with everything we've got right from the start. I get it, believe me. But you can't let your anger get the better of you. When things are most dire, so we've got to keep a level head, or you'll start making mistakes. Yeah, you're right. Thanks. Very well, if you'll allow me to make sure I understand the situation correctly. You expect that Aphrodite may once again try to thwart our attempts to complete the summoning circle operation. So you brought Caligula out of cold storage as a means of fighting back against her. Am I correct? Yes. Yeah, that's right. Hmm. Doling out information to your allies in tiny bits at a time like this doesn't seem like a good call to me. But I guess I can understand why they're doing it. Everything they tell us about the gods only underscores how much of a threat they are, even with the countermeasures they seem to have in place. And since they mentioned some of the heroic spirits who came here just bailed when they heard what they were up against, I can't blame them for being cautious. It's all about emotion, isn't it? No matter when or where, the human heart is always a key factor. Foo? Uh, yes? What is it, Foo? Foo! Huh? Oh, well, just when I thought you was finally warming up to me. Why? Why? And I hate how it's like, that's either super inconsequential, or it's super important. Hi, I have a question. Me. Can you tell us more about Caligula? Like, why he's normal? Of course, as long as it's something within our ability to answer. So what's up? How is he able to speak normally? Oh, right. I was just wondering about that, too. Caligula, as we know him, is a berserker, and he can't really communicate very well. But here... What, like he's hard to talk to? What are you talking about? He's talking just fine, ain't that right, Emps? Indeed. I understand your bewilderment, and worry not, for this is an answer I can give. I believe it is because I was struck by the moon goddess's attack. Okay. That makes sense when you read his story. The moon? You see, back in Atlantis, Diana, 
ran through me with some sort of invisible force. Uh, that's another name for Artemis. Right, Senpai. I believe it was the name she was known by in Rome. So does that mean you were struck by orbital cannon fire, Caligula? No, he specifically said invisible force. We should assume it was some other manner of attack. Artemis was also the goddess of madness, so perhaps. She possessed authority to control the mind, too. What do you think? Man, you really are sharp, aren't you? <laughs> well, I suppose the gods of these lost belts do often call me a sage for a reason. Caligula, the Mad Emperor of Rome, beloved by the moon. Given his connection to Artemis, we thought he may have acted as a kind of lightning rod. So we used him to lure Artemis out. And when she blasted him with a precision mental attack, he was transformed. The attack inverted his madness, making him rational. Artemis was likely confused by this. We believe it led to her assuming heroic spirits of proper human history all possess some kind of mental protection. So she gave up on her precision mental attacks. And restored to a more direct manner of destruction in the form of a massive orbital bombardment. I suppose it would be a fruitless endeavor to discuss whether physical or mental attack would be the lesser of two evils. Foo foo. Okay, I see. People of Kalia, I understand what your presence here signifies. My goddess Diana has fallen, hasn't she? Yep, Orion and many others helped us bring her down. I see. So Orion fulfilled his purpose. Then I will not grieve for my goddess, for I am certain she has returned to where she belongs. Yes, I think she has too. Are you done? You punks ever shut up? Are we ever going to actually get around to setting up these Grand Servant Summoning Circle what's it? Sorry, you're right. We've taken long enough as is. Well, you're, we've taken long enough. It's time we began this operation in earnest. Come on, let's head back to the surface. Holmes, Canis, Caligula, you three use your spirit forms. Mash, Musashi, Tanner, you three come with us. You got it. Let's go get revenge for your fallen allied heroic spirits and finish these summoning circles in one fell swoop. So the question is, why are we fighting with something? I guess we'll learn probably here, right? God, this place looks cool. Hey, it's Bakarios and Adele. Can't even remember the last time I saw you guys. You two really love to travel, huh? How's that going? You expanding your horizons? Yeah, you could say that. It's good to see you again. We just got back from visiting the South District. Once we got our things all sorted out, we'll be heading out again soon to Ultratown this time. Whoa, the South, huh? Hey, wasn't that where... Yes, but fortunately, we weren't affected by all that unpleasantness, thanks to Lord Zeus's protection. I see. It's true, we really do have a lot to thank Lord Zeus for. Thanks to him, the Ambrosia Supply hasn't slowed down one bit. It would Lady Demeter resting in the Great Shrine. It's just like how he provided for us back during the Olympia Machia, too. Ah, uh, what would we have done without the omnipotent Lord Zeus who took over the authority of every fallen god? We're so lucky to have him. Yes, you're so right. By the way, I haven't seen those friends of yours before. Are they from the South, too? Nice to meet you. Hey there. Poof! Yes, they're distant relatives, actually. It's going to take some time for the South District to be restored, so we thought we'd take them to Altertown in the meantime. What a wonderful idea. There's certainly no shortage of large branch shrines to visit in Altertown. Exactly. Well, I hope your tomorrow is just as peaceful as today. May Lord Zeus's protection be with you. Good, he's gone. Man, you guys really do know a lot of people. Sure it's okay to be out here with us? Don't worry about it. We can't just throw you into the deep end of an unfamiliar city. Sure, we could always just give you a map, but that wouldn't be nearly as efficient. Right, we're bound to run into a lot of trouble on our way to the second one. So this will go much smoother if we show you the way there ourselves. If I'm hearing Adele right, then what she's really saying is that there are going to be soldiers stationed near where we'll need to place the summoning circles. In which case, it would definitely be dangerous to try to navigate an unfamiliar city while checking a map, especially in the middle of a chaotic battle. Foo foo. Okay, it's not much further now. Yikes, there's sure a lot of people here, huh? 
I don't suppose we can take our plans elsewhere, can we? Nope. Apparently it has to be these spots, although we're not entirely sure why either. They said it's got something to do with the position of the stars and things like that. So the summoning circles need to use celestial bodies. Well, that makes sense for constructing a spell like this. If the heroic spirit this spell summons is really capable of destroying gods, then who or what in the world is it going to be? I have an idea. Woof. All right, let's get started. Is everyone ready? Come all set. Ready when you are. Yes. Hello? Wow, the middle of the street's glowing. This is definitely going to draw attention. The spell's given off magical energy. There's no way the gods aren't going to notice this. Get ready. Enemies will be here soon. Oh, boy. The roads and buildings are all putting up shutters. I'm picking up hostile entities heading our way, Master. What, what am I looking at? Oh, it's one of you guys. Attention, citizens of Olympus. This is an emergency alert. The Galdia demons have appeared and sat you down where dwelt. Please evacuate the area in an orderly fashion. Initiating destructive countermeasures. <laughs> there they are. Guess we don't have to bother with these invisible disguises anymore then. Right, suspending disguise mystic code effects now. Sorry, big guy, but we've got a job to do here and we can't let you through until we finish what we came here to do. I'm pretty sure I've seen that shining giant red eye of yours before. You're one of those murder machines that just comes barreling after us without a thought in its metal head. So I'll see your brute force and raise you my razor sharp blades, Canis. So it's killing time now? It is, isn't it, samurai chick? That's right. Well, not so much killing so much as smashing, but yeah, same idea. <laughs> smashing, s smashing machines, eh? Hmm. Ah, that takes me back to the Lunite movement of the Industrial Revolution. However, while the Luddites are a thematic fit for us, as our, machines are as our enemies are machines, you should know that they ultimately failed Miss Miyamoto. And we'll just have to make sure they succeed here in Olympus. Who cares about any of that crap? Let's just get started already. Activate Norton Axis Emergency Combat Mode. Output remains stable. Athena Clearonomia Synchronization successful. I'm good to go, Master. Let's race! Will Adele finish the circle first, or will we beat our enemies? Heh, <laughs> like that'll be a contest. We're gonna freaking smash these things. You said it. Alright then. Let's do this. Yeah. Alright, alright, alright. So, do I have to have both of them up? Nope. I know I could grab you, but I won't. Um, okay, so we got casters? Huh. Huh. I could grab a strong rider. You could do some good stuff. Right? Well, I've never seen I've never seen uh Europa in combat, so that'll be worth that. Um, and then let's go with Kill Lancer. So we'll grab you. This is not the team that I really wanted, but that's fine. Uh we'll go with you. And uh yeah, I want to see what she fights like. We'll switch you off for a saber, which is yeah, just be just best to use my saber, really. Like all things considered. Okay, and we'll go with uh, Buster Drive, Aerial Drive, rather. You in the back, not gonna be bad, right? Um, see so yeah, how we got these guys in the front. I c what I actually what I could do is I could grab Wave of Velvet. I'm going to give you this. I'm going to have it so that you are here, right? So we'll get... S Actually, we'll go with this because then we'll have you to buff up you and then switch you out after that. Yeah, that should work. Okay. So we'll go on to... I'm going to I'm gonna try this. I'm going to try this out because then we can do an order change to get that going, right? So we'll get some buffs, do an order change, all that good stuff. You'll be able to... Well, if we're going to get you out right away, I guess we don't even need that. Instead, let's go with, um, let's go with, um, Sea Stars on Entry, right? 
So let's see here. Isn't there one that just gives a bunch? 20 on entering for the first time? Why not? And then switch you out, right? Sure. Then we can get you. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm going to do some silly shenanigans. Silly shenanigans indeed. Um, and this here is arts gain the EMP charge. Perfect. Okay. Let's give this a shot. Plus, I want to see how Europa plays. Because I've, again, she was summonable before, but I don't, I've never actually tried, so. Got some Lamias. Oh, sh that's interesting. I did not know she'd be on that. Huh. Well, start with this. And then, uh, pop this. Okay. And let's get... That was the wrong one. Oh, well. That's fine. That's on me. I, for some reason, thought that'd be the one that I wanted. That's fine. Get you in. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait. Can we get... Shoot. I thought that would give her meter. Never mind, that's on me. I'm stupid. Wait, do you have anything? Let's see here. Uh, increase the gauge for yourself. I guess we didn't have to give you that one. Oh well. Actually, screw it. Let me try this again. That's... I, I was... I was a silly billy. Also, people said I could just, um... I guess I lost the AP for that. Dang it. But people said I could, um... It's not much. Uh, but people said what I could do is I could close the app and reopen it if I make mistakes. Because it goes... It saves at the turn. Which is like, yeah, that's fair. I could, right? Okay, but let me try this. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna try this again. So we got you. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna try this one more time. This time being smarter about it. Okay. I guess I couldn't give it to her by the way I switched. Huh. Actually, wait. Maybe I'd have to get rid of Merlin instead. Hmm. Okay, let's let's try that then. Yeah, let's let's go. No, because it... Hmm. No, wait. Okay, well, let's see. How much do you get? Oh, that's a lot, actually. Get those on. Okay. So now, you give a bit, how much, hmm, eight plus that, so if we switch out you, but then, he, hmm, yeah, okay, no, no, let's, yeah, let's, we will give this to you, okay, I'm gonna try this, okay, I'm just, I'm just testing some strats right now, so we are gonna go with the switch for you and you. Okay. All right, now you're in. Because now we can go... And actually, I don't even know. Is yours uh, all enemies? Okay. So now we'll go attack up. Pop that. Is that enough? Yes, it is. Okay, good. That's what I wanted. Pop this. Pop this. Pop this. Okay. All right, and does this do anything special? Debuff resist, don't need that. Okay. All right. One, no, let's go one, two, and then three for big extra damage. All right, let's see. All right. Got some big numbers. All right, and now let's see what this is like. I've never seen this. Oh! Oh, so... Okay, people who would have... People would have seen that earlier. Okay. It's not new. Interesting. Okay. Alright. I was gonna say, a full 3D mo Wait, does that mean there's a possibility that we'll get a chance to battle the... The the the, the 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 horse? 
The horse robot? I hope in the future. Come on. All hostiles eliminated in one turn. That was pretty Kino. I sure hope people actually say that he did good for once. It'd be really bad if, if they don't. <clears throat> Ornak systems remain green. The battle is over. Nice job, everyone. That was easier than I thought. I'm glad we didn't have to deal with any locals getting mixed up in the fray. Now that you mentioned it, it does seem like the Olympians cleared out of the area very quickly. Maybe it's all thanks to their daily training? The gods must really have their people on a short leash. Phew! There, hold on. Come on, let's hurry to the next one. Did it work? I thought Magecraft was supposed to be all flashy and shit. Huh? Why would we want to draw more attention? If anything, Lovatsky went out of her way to make the spell as innocuous as possible. You can talk about that stuff later, sister. Now come on, the official guards will be here any moment. So, we're gonna have to make our way past them. Let's go, MASH! Understood. Preparing to move to the next target. There we go. Moving on. Alright, East City. Okay, alright. That's fine with me. In that case, um, we can do the same sort of buffing to Musashi. Uh, or, actually, we can get someone else's Diascuri and just do go ham. Level 4! Jeez, guys, calm down! So in that case, we won't need to do the moving as much. We'll just buff them up, right? Yeah. Yeah. Now, this gives what? Arts and critical strength. That is perfect for them. In that case, um, let's go with... Which is that one? I think it's this one is work good. Because then we give the mana burst for Buster. Confident... Uh, no. No, which is the one that's all... This one's blue-oriented. Arts card effect, Miss Noble Phantasm Strength. That's good for them. Sea Star Gatherate. That's good for them. Buff removal resistance and gauge up. Sure. Let's go with this. Let's pop... Let's pop on our Hawaiian shirts and let's get going. Let's buff up these, this, the, the twins. Give that a go. Just a battle? It's fine by me. All right, so I don't know what we were waiting for. Uh, let's do. Hmm. Okay, let's see how much we can give with all this. Let's see. I we're not gonna get. Oh well, actually, let's see. Ooh, not enough. Not enough. Okay. Well, in that case, that's fine. We'll go... Uh, let's go one, two, three. Just to get started. Get your stuff. Okay, there we go. If Merlin gets an overcharge, I wouldn't be opposed to that. Okay, all right. So let's get rid of the Annihilator. Right? Get that going on you. And let's get this up on you. And let's get this. Actually, you don't have any blue, so that's fine. But let's go one. Or should we go one, two, three? Now let's go one, two, three. All right. Kill this guy, move on to the first. Look at all those buffs. Them putting two rows of buffs was the best thing they could have done. Oh yeah, you're super dead. Alright. This will kill you too. Not a full loop, but a good amount. Yeah. Alright. Uh, I mean, yeah, pop that on you, I guess. Just because it's like, yeah, I guess. Do this to get a big chunk of meter. Nice. Immobilize uh, removal. Mm, interesting. I wonder why they give that to them. 
That feels like it's for a very specific, like, encounter that I don't know yet. So we'll have to see. Maybe in the future that will come up, but as of now, it, it doesn't. Nice to rip on through pretty easily there. All right. Good stuff. I, again, I think after this mission, I'll have enough to ascend mine, which is going to be nice, because that is something that I... That is something I need to do. Get my, my, my twins leveled up there. That's like one left right now, huh? I have one word for you, demons of Caldea. Insolent miscreants who shun the gods' glorious light. Die. Die, die, die. That's four words. Die. I guess it's one. Become part of Olympus's underworld infrastructure, and maybe then you can start making amends to the gods. Underworld infrastructure? Canis, die this, die that. That's all you can say, dumbass. I got a better idea. You die. Oof, owie. Nothing personnel, kid. Curse you, Caldea. I'm sorry you had to die holding the grudge. Hopefully your soul will at least find respite and paradise. All right, Olympians come back to life in no time at all, don't they? Guess there's no point praying for their salvation then. Oh, compassion one moment, the next she's... Oh, what's with this chick? Some kind of samurai thing? Wait, how am I admiring her for... Oh, come on, you freaking nut job dual wielder. We gotta do this with my authority still working. I can stop their instant healing bullshit, but I can't stop it forever. Hmm? I can't put my finger on it, but it's definitely a little easier to fight here now than it was before. The Clearonomia's power-up is definitely helping part of it, and Cadus has been a big help too, but it feels like there's more to it than that alone. What could it be? Well, anyway, these Olympian soldiers really do put up a hell of a fight, don't they? And there's no end to them with this healing stuff, so that just goes to show we gotta go after the big guys, or gods. Right, remember, we're not here to fight off soldiers. Now come on, hurry. We're almost to the next spot. There's no shortage of soldiers in Statue Town. Soldiers in Statue Town sounds like a Fortnite-like novel you'd pick up at the store, like Diary of a Farting Creeper and stuff. It won't be long before reinforcements show up. Makarios, we need a distraction. Got it. And he does a silly little dance. Heads up, I'm gonna cast a smokescreen spell. It's not poisonous, but you'll still choke on it if you breathe in too much, so be careful. Smoke bomb! <laughs> so this is what you used the first time we met! The Alliance developed this spell for emergencies. It can disrupt magical energy detection for a short time. This way, everyone, we're almost to the second spot. Oh, I thought that was... I thought that was the second spot. I thought that... Okay, that was two battles in the first spot. Okay, okay. I thought that was... Okay. I thought that was, like, the second. Gimme, 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 yes! Divine Lady Line Spiritron, perfect! Delicious. Investigate. Encounter. Cherish. Okay, I thought we'd be doing a battle against yeah. one of the gods at the end yes, of that, I but I guess not. Yes! My Dios Curry is gonna be so powerful. There we go. Nice. Look at him! Looks a lot older there. Come on, speak together. Oh, do it, do it together, do it together. Come on. Speak at the same time. Come on. よくぞここまで引き上げた。褒めてやろう。失われた神格を取り戻すには至らぬまでも。兄様は感激しておいてなのです。ポルクス。Oh, I was really hoping they would like finish it by speaking all together. That would have been so much better. Um, 
Okay, I don't even know how much I have for them, really. Let's see. Hey! Not bad, not bad. They have good stats, though. Like, really good stats, huh? And it's the next day of the month there, uh, tomorrow, so... If I need more, I can buy a couple more. I was saving a lot of these up for a certain servant that's coming out, but I don't need to worry about that too much here. Because that's still a ways away. Hey, Nice! Big level limit. Also, we'll, we'll get your stats up here. Oops, there we go. Get those. Now, I do have some uh, love four-star ones, but I'm not going to use them. Those I am saving up for a certain servant. Those ones are going to the one that everyone says I need to get, who pairs very nicely with these two. You know who. You know exactly who I'm talking about, so I'll get there when I get there. Um, yeah, see two hours left in the shop there, which is wild, because that's really early, considering where we're at. Okay. It's a berserker, huh? I wonder who that is. We haven't fought a berserker here yet, so investigate, encounter, cherish. All right, so we're putting up the second of these things. I'll say one thing for the city. Sure, pretty. Glad we're not seeing any civilians here, too. Unfortunately, that probably means it won't be much longer before one of the machine gods shows up, huh? Yeah, Aphrodite ambushed us last time. We fought back as hard as we could, but it didn't do us much good. Come on, AI, let's get this done. All right, this is where we got to put down the second one. The exact locations... Huh, the hell? We can't tell where it's supposed to go. Oh, oh, what, what do you mean by... Shit, shit, shit. Uh, sorry, we've lost track of the proper coordinates. Theoretically, this shouldn't even be possible, but we can't even find a trace. Then, if we don't know where to go, we'll be sitting ducks for the Olympian soldiers. What do we do now? We should be able to sense the right spot once we get within a few meters of it, but uh, I can't say for sure for some s reason. Oh, it sucks ass. I wish we could just talk normally without dancing in circles. I'll say I'd really prefer it if we could get into specifics. Especially specifics as to what the hell's going on right now. I'm afraid there's nothing we can do there. As long as Zeus is listening in, we can't simply delve into the details of our plan or objectives. That being said, I do believe we may be able to get around that with some manner of telepathy spell, though it... May be difficult to maintain for several participants at once. I do know a spell like that, but I can only cast it once since it's too risky to use the same spell twice. I see. Presumably, because Zeus can and will figure out any spell used more than once. I understand. Nonetheless, desperate times call for desperate measures. What say you, Tanner? Uh, it would really help us be on the same page right now. All right. May wise Hermes protect us. Whoa! Uh. <laughs> it just goes, it just goes right into like Holmes' head, and he's just like, cocaine, 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 cocaine. I could go for some of the good stuff right now. I sure hope Gordolf hasn't found my stash. Foo! Why did we give it to Foo? Oh wow! Can you all hear me? If, see, now this is where, like, if I wanted to put in the extra effort, I'd put, like, a reverb to make it sound like we're in the heads. I'm not gonna do that. God, you want these videos to come out with speed or not? Oh, yeah, loud and clear, man. This is amazing. Yeah, first you dipships won't shut up, and now you're in my damn head. Just say what you're gonna do so we can get this over with. Now, now, don't be like that. We've never done this before, and we might never not get another chance. Did you forget the enemy's practically breathing down our necks here, dumbass? Pretty confident in your chances, ain't ya? Yeah, thanks. That's so nice of you. How freaking stupid are you? That was not a compliment. All these telepathic conversations are taking place simultaneously. Can you hear me too, senpai? Does this mean I can understand what Fu's saying right now? Fu! Fu Fu! Not too bad. <laughs> Once a beast, always a beast, huh? With a lowercase b. Now that I want to hear this thing suddenly start going off on tangents anyways, yeah, I imagine him speaking for a large amount of time in that squeaky voice. <laughs> Boy, that'd be infuriating. Foo! Foo foo foo! No translation, that's because you got no taste but use! <laughs> that's weird, something just kind of pissed me off for a moment there. <laughs> okay, here's the situation. I'll go over the details later, but in short, the coordinates we need to complete the God Destroyer Grand Servant Designation Summon. I'll make use of a type of magical energy distortion. 
Usually these coordinates are closer link closely linked to their physical space, so once you know where they are, it should be impossible to lose sight of them. But since you have, does that mean the distortion of the expected coordinates no longer exists? <laughs> well, that sounds bad. Guess that's the end of the operation. <laughs> no, it's not. It'd take forever to go over exactly why, but basically, these distortions should last forever. So then, why is this one gone? Well, this isn't the type of distortion that can up and vanish. So the fact that we've lost sight of it must mean either it's simply no longer possible to sense, or the space it's linked to is no longer where it was. For example, perhaps some unforeseen interference has temporarily moved it away from its original space. It's definitely possible. I see. And in that case... Ah, it sounds like we should split up and search. I concur. It'd be quite inefficient to concentrate all of our resources on searching a single location. Not to mention that time is of the essence. I suggest we split into two, no, three teams. Canis Caligula, I would ask each of you search your respective areas alone. Miss Miyamoto, I would ask you to be our bodyguard. Here, oh, whoops, did I, did I do the right voice? No, good. Here, Canis and Caligula, I'll each give you an AI terminal as well. It should react once you get within a few meters of the distortion. And since the AIs there are all linked together, we'll be alerted when one of them finds it. Fine, this all sounds like a major pain in the ass, but in for a penny, in for a pound and shit. Understood, then I shall do my best to search the area. Search 70% of this area on my own. Oh yeah, then I'll do 90%. Come on guys, leave some for us. Oh, so when one of us finds a distortion, we all rendezvous post haste. Got it! Okay then, let's get going. Later. Farewell for now. Oh, dude, he just Hulk, Hulk leaped. Foo! Damn, Caligula's got some serious spring in his step. This must be planning to search from the skyscrapers. Looks like Canis' ultra speed would give Hermes a run for his money. Alright, I'm afraid this spell won't last much longer. We better start searching too. Let's do it, but first... Mash 12 o'clock. Oh! I'm sensing hostiles approaching. They appear to be a group of Olympian guards and rare phantasmals. Oh, that makes sense then. Good thing they didn't show up during a strategy meeting. You said it, Senpai. All right, preparing to fight. And begin our search at the same time. Yeah, 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 yeah. So who do we got? Let's see here. I might as well just use you because you're all buffed up, right? And just pretty much stick to the same plan to start. Just switch up my uh, my thing. Let's see here. Uh, I'm go overcharge. This gives you crit up. Uh, I might go with just even just to level it up a bit more. Give you the anniversary blonde there because we can buff you some more, some more. Okay, yeah, because you're going to be so buff against pretty much two of these. And then we just got the caster left. So uh, to fight the caster, eh, you should even be good for that, honestly. So that's good. Okay. Oh, well, this one's just going to be mostly uh, getting stuff for the last group, it seems. Well, let's get some meter stuff here, at least to start. Um, Yeah, let's just start with this, because I don't want to do all the buffs beforehand, so... Oh, these guys are beefy, though. Oh, these guys are very beefy. Hmm. Hmm. Because yours increases your attack and damage. Okay, so that is good for you. So, okay. No, it's fine. We'll we'll keep going here. This this is going to be a little bit um, touch and go in terms of, you know, fighting these guys. But they shouldn't be much of a threat. And we can use a, a, a thing all to block their noble phantasm when needed. I mean, the first one's half dead there. And we get crit up on you, which is what we want. We want to get that buff going. So let's go like one, two, three. Right, because then we can go. And then that's a lot. Yeah, people were saying that her arts card has so many hits. 
which is good to know for sure, right? That we can consistently make sure her arts are good to go. And we'll get uh, Zuliang's going too, just so that we can have that in the, uh, in the docket ready to go. All right, and then... He's also doing good damage, which is nice. So yeah, we'll kill the first before needing to worry about anything. Okay. So let's go... One. And we didn't even almost work on getting an overcharge with her, which will be awesome. Two, three. Okay. Good stuff. Okay. And so next turn, she'll be doing that stuff. Let's see. Do we have anything just to not work? Nah, it's okay. You know what? We'll we'll pop this just to have it so that we can then be, again, good to go once we move on there. Get this on you for some big damage. I was going to say, this isn't going to kill. Yeah, there's... No, it didn't. Okay, Erosion Bolt. Ooh, that's not great. Okay, no, it's fine. Uh, let's go. One, let's go. One, two, three. Because I feel like her crit there will kill. Oh no, it doesn't. Okay, that's fine. A little bit more time to get Merlin all buffed up here. Yep. Oh, he'll be good to go, and she'll be overcharged to almost three hundred. Nice. Okay, almost there. Okay, so let's see here. Okay, is yours is for a single enemy? Okay. Um. Well, let's get some buffs going. Huh, how should I do this? I almost want to just put a bunch of buffs on, kill you, and then kill you by just doing like a big combo. So yeah, let's do that. Right? I mean, yeah, we don't have any more meter, but just for the attack up. Extra damage on your red. Right? And this is... Is this Buster up with you? Buster effectiveness. So let's go... One... Two... Three. Okay. See how much redonkulous damage we do. That's a lot. That's a lot. Yep. Come on, do big. Oh, baby. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. We had a rough first one just to have a six second one, right? All right. So let's go. You got a big chunk there. So you know what? Let's go with this. Let's give you some more. Give you that. Give you that. Give us this. Okay, so we're going to go... One, two, three. Okay. Let's go. And how much is gonna do? Oh, just one hit kill. I love it. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Good stuff. Nice. Hey, don't mind if don't mind if I do. Oh yeah. God, it's it's like when you're getting those those SSRs to new bond levels. It's like, yeah, here's here's a chunk. It's so nice. It's like my uh, like I like my soup chunky, you know. All right. Um, I'm almost tempted to go with a uh uh d -b 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 alter ego just to deal with those guys, right? We go with Akita. Someone has a pretty high... Oh, it's... 
I don't I don't really love Okita's alters move set there. Hmm. I'm still mostly avoiding you just because of spoiler reasons, even though I mean I'll I've seen most of your move set and there's nothing really spoilery in it, so. Um Let's see. I do just want a nice alter ego. That's my sister. What's she have? That's what she has. Ozzy's gonna go here. She hasn't put him in. And she just got John Alter, so she's gotta put that in. I gotta tell her, hey, put in your stuff. Okay, let's see here. Okay, let's... Sure, let's go with King Protea, because she is good. Let's go with King Protea. You know what? I could honestly probably even do like a full team of Alter Egos here. I could go double Protea, which I feel will be very silly with you healing them. That could feel very silly, and I'm kind of here for that, right? Sure, why not? Um, Let's switch you off with... You know what? Let's just kind of go all offense for now. Because we've been kind of rocking it, and so, yeah, why not? And then you'll probably die, you'll come in, and you can help heal him up. Easy peasy lemons go wheezy, right? And, uh, we'll give, what's a good one here? I mean, I could use this to then bring someone in in case we need it, so, like, we can bring in Mash for something. Sure, why not? Let's give this a shot. Why not? Give it a go. Okay, let us start the growth. Double Proteas, like, ridiculous amounts of HP, huh? So let's go one. Actually, it's a full combo, huh? Let's go one, two, three. Okay. Good damage. Nice. Dead already, you'll love to see it. Okay. Alright, and now let's go. Hey, look at this! Again, you'll love to see it. Is this gonna. No, the clear Nomia. Let it live. Right? For that boost. Nice, I like that guard. Okay, all right, now let's go one. Actually, let's go one, two, three. Focus on damage, too. Okay. Nice, good. Okay, and uh, it, not the support, we need the other one. So let's go one, two, three. Okay. Big overcharge, okay, good amount. Okay, what do we got? Okay, all right, all right. Um, We do have a full combo with the support one. Let's use that. Let's go one, two, three. Honestly, I feel like there's many, many situations that in the story, King Protea being on our side would heavily trivialize, but I know for actual, you know, balance purposes, that's not how it goes. Resonating Roar. Okay. Uh, let's go... Okay, so we're gonna kill you right away, so let's go with... 
One, two, three. You're done. Big hit. Nice. Okay. I think if we get enough with her this year, this should finish it. Yep. One. Two. Three. That's it. We have one, pretty much. Goodbye. Good stuff. Yes, you did a good job. Okay. We have a an... story, yes. Huh. Bork. Mash. Here. Yo. Did an ally step? I love it. Here we go, done and done. I try to move around as much as possible as I fought. Anything? Nah, no luck here. Come on, keep moving. Ooh. Damn, too bad. Can't let Canis or Caligula beat us. No turning back now, let's keep going. Yes, you're right, Master, but we can't push ourselves too hard either. You especially need to be very careful not to overexert yourself this time, but then you already know that, don't you? I'm sorry. Okay, let's go. We certainly don't want our team to lose. Oh, you are just too precious! Nuggy Nuggy. But what is Musashi? Why are you holding my head to your chest? What are you doing? Oh, it's lovely to see you getting along so well. You're just like real sisters. They actually almost have the same hair color. I mean, they actually don't. Right? But it looks the same from this shitty- God! That's weird to see. Wait. Because I would have always said Musashi's like kind of a brown, like a brown off-white kind of platinum blonde. And Mash is clearly purple. But in this specific instance, side by side, why do they look identical? This is literally a blue dress, gold dress situation. Because of the lighting. Like, see, now they look different. Because of when they're in the sh Oh, that's weird. Oh, I didn't even read that. Just my instincts. Instincts. Oh, you're done now. Hmm. Then again, it seems this is, was, uh, this seems like this is, was a well-timed break for Tana. Very well, then let's continue exploring Statue Town, shall we? I must say, it's been quite thrilling running around a completely empty city like this. Wouldn't you agree? foo 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 Ah, <sighs> my physical enhancement Mr. Code is still working. I'm ready to run. Right, Master. You can just Sonic the Hedgehog his way through the streets. That's a concerning thing. Okay. We'll see. The house has been defeated. Continue to make your way through this zone. Alright, by this point, we should start giving Tanner's stamina reserves serious consideration. How does this area look, AI? Jackpot, baby! You nailed it! Looks like our idea about the enemy using some conspicuous to cover up the site was right on the money. I'm seeing a monster up that looks to be warping the very space around him. I see it. Is that...? Oh, you. Well, that's mean. What did I ever do to deserve being called a monster by a bunch of lifeless faux ghosts? I may be an alter ego working with the foreign god, but I've always strived to be a fair and impartial businesswoman above all else. Isn't that right, Chaldeans? Or were you too caught up in your latest lost belt smushing to remember little old me? Foo! Come to think of it, if all her outfits are themed to the different lost belts, I think that's meant to be her themed to Olympus because it's just a modern businesswoman. Fu, don't. Please stay with us. A human woman? Hell no. There's no way that thing could be human. She's not even trying to hide her savage magical energy or the smell of death that hangs around her. What the hell are you? Tamamovich Koyanskaya. 
Eee, what happened to the meek little Tanner I remember? I never thought you'd ever try to interrogate me so boldly. What could have changed you like this? It's because we're friends now, because we bonded a bit in India? Anyway, well, I'd love to discuss this newfound casual attitude before me. Uh, let's not forget, I'm still very much your enemy. I'm afraid I have nothing in the way of products or information for you this time. No, this time I only came to check up on my phantasmal factory since I'll need it for my future endeavors. See, just between us, I'm actually trying to keep this visit a secret from the gods of Olympus as well. So I think it'd best be best for everyone if we just pretended we never saw each other and went our separate ways. I can see you're all very busy making preparations to tackle this lost belt in earnest. My plan is simply let things play out however they do and hopefully come away with some choice Olympian products to sell when all is said and done. Doesn't that sound nice? Everybody wins, nobody loses. What more could you possibly want? Well, you heard the lady. What do you all think? I think it's time we found out exactly what she's up to. Quite right, Mr. Tanner. Besides, now that Queen Sky has seen us here, avoiding conflict is no longer an option. Since in the end, she is certain to be the most formidable foe I need to face. Yeah, why you specifically? Oh my, and why is that, pray tell? Don't you remember the lovely chai I made you in India? Foo foo, you never made anything in sort of Central Turfest Fox? Yeah, call her out. Queen Sky is not part of Olympus's forces. So I rather doubt she could be motivated to actively interfere with our attack on this lost belt. Indeed, we can say that with a fair amount of certainty, given our behavior in our last past lost belts to date, does this mean that she sides with the cryptors, that is, the foreign god? Clearly not. She has never once attempted to protect her tree of emptiness. If anything, she once treated it as no more than another product in her catalog. Nor for the matter has she shown any sign of subservience to the foreign god. Koi and Skya, well, you have told us several times that the foreign gods' commands are three disciples. You have never once directly declared yourself to be one of them. Your attempts to mislead us have been so brazenly obvious that the truth is quite apparent. Oh, why, yes. You might just say that's my way of being sincere. You see, if a bunch of insects like yourselves were to accuse me of breaking a promise I'd never made, well, even I don't think I'd be able to keep my cool. Um, is that true, Mash? Yes, it is. I'm quickly going through our past logs right now, and it's your- Wow, you keep a- You keep- You literally keep this? That's actually cool for the plot. She never openly declared herself to be one of the foreign god's disciples. She only ever said, said things that made it sound like she was. And she's just a fraud. I knew we couldn't trust that damn monster, being sincere my ass. Quiet if you would, please. I was just getting to the good part. Now then, from here, our next question is obvious. Who is Tamamovich Koyanskaya? We know she attacked Kaldi's headquarters and that she dealt a critical blow to proper human history. We also know that she takes pleasure in tormenting the Lost Belt's inhabitants and seeing their lives end, even as she continues to, for want of a better way to put it, name drop the foreign god. Even now, we see her making moves in this Atlanta Lost Belt as an unaffiliated third party. Would it be alright with you if I voiced my conclusions about her right now, Mr. Tanner? Though, of course, you may well have already arrived at the same answer yourself. Yeah, of course I have. I'm going to say, of course. Go ahead. Who are the foreign god's three disciples? The servants they summon themselves? We can say for certain that two of them are Rasputin from Russia and Limbo from Shimosa. And now I suspect the third is Senji Muramasa, whom we only recently learned of in Atlantis. As servants summoned by the foreign god, they are naturally motivated to protect the Tree of Emptiness and have attempted to do so at every turn. You, on the other hand, have no affiliation with the foreign god, yet their disciples clearly hold you in respect. From this, we can infer you are most likely a being on equal footing with the foreign god. Or in terms you might prefer, a business partner, correct? I like to think of it as a mutual back-scratching sort of relationship. Indeed, the foreign god and I did sign a contract to that effect. I will not eliminate you. In return, I will, you will not comprehend me. Comprehend? We will both abide by our respective principles and see this planet through to its end. But tell me, how did you come to that conclusion? How did you know that the foreign god and I had something akin to... had become something akin to business partners? Lament you, my dear Colleen Skaya. If we are to assume that be the case, everything else starts to make sense. For one, it explains how you are able to work towards your own goals in each Lost Belt, despite being in a similar position as the Disciples. Namely, your goal of simply tormenting people rather than growing the Trees of Emptiness. 
We still have no data on what exactly the phone god is, and so we cannot draw, cannot yet draw a clear picture of them. We are, however, certain of their goal, the destruction of modern humanity. I suspect your goal is similar, something along the lines of becoming humanity's natural enemy and destroying the entire species. It is for that reason that the foreign god did not consider you to be on the side of humanity. They may even have recognized you as a competitor of sorts. No doubt that is why they chose to enter into a business arrangement. I expect this agreement involved you both promising to use each other's resources to ignore the other party as much as possible and to avoid any direct conflict. Never mind that the other party, the foreign god that is, appears to be the significantly greater threat. Yet even so, the foreign god clearly saw you as a threat and so placed a call upon you in the form of a contract. You may be cruel, heartless, twisted, and depraved, but for some reason you take pride in being a businesswoman. And of course, the quickest way to keep a freewheeling competitor in check is to make them a partner. By entering into a non-compete contract of sorts, you arrived at a position where you both stand on equal ground. Am I correct, Miss Koyanskaya? What an interminably long-winded explanation. Yes, that's all more or less correct. So, what am I then? I can only think of one entity who could give pause to a god capable of wiping the earth clean and say, You're one of the beasts, aren't you? You possess an exceptional ability to freely travel between different worlds, a power not even the other alter egos can wield. You are a walking disaster, one with which even the foreign god wishes to avoid coming into contact. In Atlantis, we met Orion, a grand archer who had been summoned by the very world itself. Yep, 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 there we go. And here in Olympus, the conditions appear to be in place for a similar summoning ritual. Taking all that into consideration, the answer is quite clear. You are an independent disaster, a being dangerous enough to merit the materialization of a grand servant. In other words, you must be one of the seven evils of humanity. You are a beast. Oh boy! A beast, but her spirit origin is still within standard parameters. Because even though she's already reached a point that warrants a grand servant, she's still not fully matured. If she were, there would be little call for caution on her part. Well, am I right, Miss Koyanskaya? Or perhaps I can call you by your true name if you'd care to share it. Foo! Oh, Koyanskaya is just fine, Mr. Detective. After all, I don't have anything so silly as a true name. Uh, I, uh, yeah, I'm getting chills, getting worried. At last. At long last, I've reached the point I've been waiting for. I would expect nothing less from you, my dear Chaldeans. One of the stipulations in my contract with the foreign god states, I must not reveal my name of my own accord. Thanks to that, the binding clause, I had no choice but to go about my endeavor slowly and painstakingly. But now at last, at last, I've regained a body that can finally stretch in. And it's all thanks to you. <laughs> You humans, your best intentions always bring about the worst results. What you think is good sense always devolves into insufferable self-righteousness. You, with your absurd egos, always yapping about protecting humanity, you make me sick. Oh yes, I really must thank you again. Thank you so much for demolishing Goetia's nauseating, naive ambitions beyond any possibility of repair. What are you going to look like? What are you going to look like? Magical energy readings are suddenly spiking this massive aura, the way she's eroding the space around her. It's as though she really is. Now that I've had my pick of all the finest breeds in every Lost Belt, I was wondering when the best time would be to unveil myself. Yeah, it's been just unbearable waiting for the chance to try out a tale or two of my own. So I thought why not give myself a treat and toy with humanity personally for a change. <laughs> so I tell you what. As your just reward for figuring me out, I'm going to take my time with you. Who knows, perhaps my tails will end up crushing you before the mechanical gods get a chance. The target's shape and mass have both changed dramatis dramatically. It's absorbing near my magical energy and growing larger. It appears to be some kind of shadowy four-legged creature of unknown origin. Here she comes, get ready, Mash. I don't, I, I, I don't know what I'm looking at. I'm gonna guess she's beast class, though, huh? Okay. Doesn't... Don't you have something that goes against beast? Don't you also do extra damage to beast class or something? No. 
I thought you did. No, you're alter ego. Okay. I don't remember what the what the what the sip what what makes a beast class. Well, for one, there's something I gotta use, even if it's not gonna be the best choice. But hmm, I might grab Musashi just to have, just for her buffs. But okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, let's go with you and you. But let's switch you out, cause it's finally your time to shine, even if just for a bit. Okay, let's see here. It's under nine. Even if just for a bit, attack advantage against Beast Class and give it to him. He's not the strongest, but by George, is he going to get some use finally? Then otherwise, we got you and you and I don't know. I don't know what else to do with you, honestly. I'm going to have to see. Um, If I die here... Then I get, then I, I I figure out what what team is best and try again. I'm not gonna pop a pop my stuff right away. I also feel like this isn't gonna be the real battle, right? This just comes out of nowhere if this is the case. Ah, uh, let's go with just our yeah. Might as well go with just this for now because I have no freaking clue what we're facing really. Okay, let's see. Okay, so is she gonna be? Is she going to be da Daji? Is she going to be, uh, like, the the um, QB? Is she going to be, let's see, Advent Beast? Evil of Humanity Horde? Whoa. Perma Beast of Taming. Gain advantage against human servants and defense disadvantage against demonic beast type servants. Who the frick is a demonic beast type servant? Gain resistance, noble phantasm, gain resistance to crits. Okay, this seems like an impossibility. Beast of Taming. Okay, so wait, one, two, three, four, five. There's only five what look like tails because then the other ones would be tamamo cat tamamo possibly tamamo summer possibly that other tamamo who randomly appears in um extella right huh is she five tailed Tamamo? I don't know. I don't know. Well, for one turn, um, okay, so let's just see here. Charge gain by one each turn. It's only for a couple turns here, right? And you have sure hit. Ignore sure hit. No. Um, okay. I might just pop this on you just for now. Okay, and let's just go one, two, three. Let's see if we do anything. Okay, let's see here. Fear, revere. Terror, active on defeat. Curse, swell. I've never seen the red text. Okay, let's see if we can even do anything with, uh, with angry mango here. What does that do on defeat? Increase the single enemy's attack and recover HP. Oh no. This seems so stupid. Well, we're doing damage. Terror stun has started. Okay. Bruh. Brudda. This is ridiculous. Okay. Um, Mango's nearly dead. I don't even know if it if it matters to get started on Garden of Avalon, honestly. Might as well try. This is so crazy. 
星の宇宙に物見の中に楽園の端から君に聞かせよう罪なき者のに通るがいいガーデン・オブ・アロン I have to, and I have to think about this. The, 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 the thing about, like, oh, yeah, by the way, crits actually do less damage. That just sucks. That attack is so cool. A lot of curses. Okay. Your gut stop. Uh, I, I honestly doubt this is even gonna work. Okay. Would that work? Would that count for being hit with invincible? Let's see. Oh, I forgot it stuns him too. Shoot. I forgot that you need to do it at the end for him. Wonder if you could apply a thing to give him. Oh, standby isn't stun. Okay, let's see here. Ominous Star. Disastrous Curse, okay. It's a lot of curses, huh? Is this even gonna do anything? Cool! Love it! Great. It's gonna die. <laughs> My man's gonna die. Hey, he's doing decent damage! Okay. Um. Hmm. Music's good. Let's just go. One, two, three. I don't know. I feel like we're gonna die via the curse, anyways. This is ridiculous, actually. I should have picked someone else. I was like, he finally gets the time to shine, and it's like, not, not really. Now he guts. Curse swell. I'm terrified for when it does the, the thing there. So actually not super powerful, I'm noticing, right? Ignore defense. Like out of out of all the servants, like they're doing Whoa, you get a new effect. Cool. That's sick. That did a lot, yeah. You're gonna kill. Yeah. Attack up. That's a. Oh, frick, that sucks. Okay, yeah, that, that, that actually really sucks. Hmm. Okay, well, you got your thing going. In fact, you can do a lot of good stuff here, I think. But the crit is actually not the best for you, but oh well. Let's pop this. Let's have you focus on you just to get that going. Right? And let's go one, two, right? Because then we can go, yeah, we got that going. So we'll go one, two, three. So. Seems pretty default amount of damage, I'll say. Right? Like, damage does not seem to be a massive thing. Like, I can just seemingly do it just fine. Cool! Big Georgios here, huh? Alright, target. Pop that. Georgios, you will not really be very helpful, but sure. You're doing it, buddy. Okay. Growth. It's a lot of curses, huh? I So I have a couple servants that are very kitted out in ones that heal status ailment. That'll probably help a lot for this, huh? It really will. Uh, pop this. God, you're... 
getting some use. Um. Okay. Yeah. So I just gotta wonder. Is this a you need to beat the entire thing? Or or is this a hmm, I miss star. So that does hit everyone, gives you disastrous curse. Okay. Okay. Ah, oh, this is real. Okay. Hmm. So I need ones with curing of the status conditions, which I do have on a couple for sure. Let's see here. It's fine. I'll pop this. Uh, yeah, that's fine. So let me think here. Because Merlin was actually doing real good, and if I didn't use Angry Mango, I feel like that could have gone a lot better. Uh, so, I wonder if, I wonder if they count as divine. So I'm actually going to bring you up here. Because I think this, because you were doing real good in the beginning there, actually. And in fact, the strategy I kind of had was not bad. So let's go with, my only question is, are they divine? So I'm going to go to gamepress.gg just to see anyone that they recommend that's like, oh yeah, by the way, this, this, this character has this sort of thing. And as such, I should, you know, focus on said thing, right? As much as it wanted to be their beast class, Angry Mango, by God, they're going to get him, right? That's not the case. So let's go to uh, boss guides. Let's see here. So this one is, is it 7-2? No, it is, yeah, here we go. Encounter, click for boss guide. Okay, let's see here. Uh, okay, one, this is a full thing, huh? Okay. Four bars. So, okay, so who are demonic beast servants? Tamamo Lancer. Tamamo Gorgon. Okay, interesting. Tamamo Lancer, huh? Huh. There's solid choice if available in the roster. Otherwise, avoid bringing humans. And who are... Who would I have for humans? Is that pretty much everyone? That is pretty much everyone. Okay. Okay, yeah, because I was like, who's a demonic beast? So yeah, Tamamo Lancer, Red Hair, Tamamo, Tamamo, Asterio, Scorgon, and Avenger of Shinjuku, huh? Okay. Well, that's good to know. Uh, 80% Noble Phantasm damage, 60% resistance for three turns, so difficult to deal in the first bit. Um, okay, so, team recommend, so let's just see here. Buff removal, Avenger Shinjuku being the notable option, don't have him. Last stand, can clean up for a couple hits. So, I need, so I have Tamamo, Lancer, and Gorgon. Those two are going in. Okay, so those are my attackers then. So, and my Tamamo, Lancer is pretty good if I'm correct. So that should be good. Tamamo, Lancer, and we'll get Gorgon as well. Did not expect Gorgon to be an MVP for this, but here we are. And and she's she's decently cheap too, so that's good. Um, so then Merlin and um, I don't have Scotty. Asclepius they recommend actually for debuff. So you know what? we'll put Asclepius at the end here. Not at the end, but we'll put him in, and he can help out with stuff, right? Because Asclepius can then give. Um. Remove, increase gauge and remove debuffs for all allies. That's good, right? Uh, in fact, people are saying I should really up his stuff and I might just do that right now. I should give him though, what do you recommend for Asclepius? I'm looking up strats. All right, debuff clear support. It recommends Asclepius and uh, what, what do they recommend for a card for him? Uh, fragment. Okay, so it recommends... Uh, a fragment or gentle affection. Interesting. Kaleidoscope. Imaginary element. Okay. You know what? Let's give him let's give him imaginary element just to again keep our costs down because we're gonna be using some other stuff, right? So let's go with ba -ba 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 -ba, imaginary element to get started. I'm gonna go out and, and up his stats there. Tamamo 
what would Tamamo need, probably? Let's see here. Um, Tamamo, they recommend. Let's see here. Uh, out of all these, the only one I really have is... Hmm. Vessel of the Saint? Vessel of the Saint would be very useful, actually. Because doesn't that give debuff immune? That'll be useful for if she's in the front line for a bit. Yeah. Yeah, that's useful in the front line for sure. Um, so these two are going to be good for that. And then you'll be there. I might... You know what? Instead of you... Who else did they recommend that I could look into here? Um, let's see here. I could look for a Tamamo, because Tamamo herself is really good. They do recommend a Scotty, right? They recommend Scotty for offensive support. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Yeah, but that's with that. Um, let's see. Does anyone else have a really good one that is on that list? <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I get that joke. Um, let's see. Ah, uh, yes. That'll be useful. That's good. That's good. Okay, good. All right. And then you will be, I'm going to say here, and then you in the back, right? And maybe if you're in the back, you're going to be like, if we're, you know what? If we're going last standing with you to try and be, to try that. Then I could go full necromancy meme, right? Because when in doubt, necromancy memes away. Um. K. Hmm. I almost want to bring up you first. And then have you come later, right? We'll give this a shot. As for this, the best thing would probably be because she has sure hit. So I want the one that gives, um... Remove debuffs and skill cooldown? Sure, we'll go with, with Atlas Uniform. Okay. Time to give this a go. Look at me planning this out. Watch me lose even harder. We'll see. Alright. I felt like the first phase was going pretty easily, pretty well. But we'll see here. Okay. I love how you can't even see Merlin. At all. Um, so for the first turn, it's all like that. And I don't think we have anything that can do... Death resist. I'm not too worried about that. This is... Is this gather? Gather right up in defense? Yeah, I'm not too worried about that. So let's just start with this, because we're not hitting you for the first turn. Right? Okay. Fear, Revere, Terror. Okay, so and that's, that's unremovable too, which sucks. Ow. Okay. Pop this now. Okay. Um. Pop this on you. And this gives what? Just increase attack? Okay, let's go... One, two, three to try and get your Noble Phantasm. But we're going to wait off on using it, of course, because we have that shield up. Okay. Terror struck on you. Okay. Oof, that's a lot of damage. Uh, oof, okay. Do I have her one that gets... Well, we got debuff immune, right? So we can pop this on you. Sure. Right? Because then we can use that. And you still have the thing that breaks the, the Noble Phantasm for one more turn. Right? Actually, we can clear your debuff. Good. Good. Just to be careful. Because then we can go... Uh, 
Well, you're attacking, right? You are, because you have a lot of damage you can do. So we're going to go with attack up on you. And we can hold off on buffing you, but we're going to go... Let's go one, two, three for now. Yeah, good damage. Got yours, Cape. Okay, we just want Tamamo to survive for sure. Okay, we want Lobo to survive too. Oh, good. Okay. Pop this. I don't think this will inflict curse and de increase charge. Well, we might as well pop that for now. Because you're maxed out, right? Yeah, why not? Death percent up. Remove buffs for one enemy. I actually don't have any buffs right now, so I'm not too worried about that. Um... Okay, so let's go one, two, three to get your super next turn. We charmed her. I didn't think that would work. Cause you're a girl. Frick. Frick. Wait, wait, wait. Sometimes I make bad decisions. Okay, I didn't think charm would work. I didn't think it would work, hence why I did it, because, you know, normally beasts are uncharmable, I guess. Normally, you'd be uncharmed by yourself, right? Does anyone else think of that? Right. So, okay. Good to know. Okay. Let's see where it puts me. Oh, we can see that again. Is this the start of the battle? No. Dang it. Okay. No. That didn't happen. That didn't happen. But I might put I might put Lobo near the back then, because Lobo there seems to be more of uh, when when oh cool seems to work more off of um, when she's probably gonna start buffing herself more right. So instead, I might put Lobo in the back, bring up Mash, or okay. So let's see here. Let's see here. Do we got anyone with Lobo here again? Can I grab Lobo again? Not there. Let's see here. Lobo or even someone else. Let's see here. Well, Lobo's gone. Okay, let's... You know what? Let's see. Let us see. No one there. Was it in the all category? Dang. Dang, that's not good. Yeah, let's see. I might grab just a uh, regular Tamamo, if that's the case. Someone's regular strong Tamamo. Even though it's got the bad craft essence, right? I mean, it's not the worst. But it's fine. Okay, fine, fine. We'll use you, right? Because then you'll be up here. You can both attack and heal, right? So, sure, we'll give this a try, right? Sure, okay, 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 all right. We'll give it a shot. I seriously have no idea how long this is gonna take me. <laughs> I already got past the first break gauge. Okay, let's see here. Alright, so, yeah, that goes for a couple turns. Wow, that actually got rid of that. That's good. Um, so let's start off with, so, we can do that after. Is this just defense up for yourself? Might as well pop that right now. 
If we're going to try and get meter for now, restore HP, we're going to hold off on using that. Attack up just to get meter going, right? Because we want that cooldown going as fast as possible. Um, sea star up for allies. I could pop this and get more sea stars with you, right? But it doesn't really matter because crits are not good for us right now. So let's just go one, two, three. Big thing is getting that, that meter up with him. Be revere. Okay. That one looks really deadly. But compared to some of them, it doesn't seem that bad. So this is decrease charge and increase strength for all allies for three turns. That's good, but not what we're looking for right now. So let's just do some damage first here. Right, doing damage as well as getting some meter with you. Okay. What oh, that stun? Oh, this stun was a terror, right? Okay. Okay, all right. Um, I'm gonna actually unstun you. Right? Now, we could stun you this turn and increase your charge. Okay, let's try it. Okay, th that's good. That's good, because you're stunned, right? So, let's go now with... Um, that's a 70. That's not bad. We could also do, like, a combo that to start healing. Healing start seems really good right now. So let's do some of that there. Right? Next turn we'll block. Okay, because healing start now is good. Being able to manipulate the enemy's, like, charge meter is so useful. That's good. Okay. Oh, shoot. Wait. Dang it. Dang it. Wait. Like I said, being able to manipulate it is very good. Okay. That's, um, get rid of stun, right? Or is that healing up? Apply immobilize immune. So... If I pop this, might as well do this. And then go... Oh, well, it doesn't even matter. But that's good, because if we get the debuff, the, the immobilizer moon, that means terror won't work, too. Because in terror, even if it procs, won't work. Okay. All right, good. Now you're back, we can pop this. And Tamamo, yours does cooldown down, right? So that's good. So we can then get this on you. Get this on you. Right? This blew up. I mean, honestly, I could place it on yourself, and that'll be good for... Because um, yours specifically does cooldown down, restore HP, and increase gauge for all allies. So, and how many turns is this? It is for three turns. It's not bad. Okay, so let's go one, two, three for a full combo. Okay. Continue giving this a shot. It's only 2,000, which isn't the best, but... It's a decent amount of meter, for sure. Okay, we're gonna break her gauge next turn, for sure. Aw, oh, like, so close. Good. Okay. Alright. Cool. So, let's get that going back on with you. Okay, and again... Best to just try and get our meter kind of brought back around. So we're going to go one, two, three. No, let's go one, two, three. Okay. Nice. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm starting to exactly see how Tammo can be really good. All right. Phase two. Ice fire sentry. Charge gate. Oh, frick. 
great. Well, at least it happened here, right? And they're both stunned, huh? Great. Oh, well, mm, okay. Oh, Sclepius! Yes! Good. Wait. Okay, wait. Remove debuffs for all allies. Very good. That's what we want. Heal you, because you're dying first. Okay. This does Noble Phantasm Seal. Increase gain for all of them. Pop that. Cool, because that means they don't get any. Good. Um, and let's go with... Okay, let's go... One... Two... That's... Stun remove? Yes, that's good. Okay. So let's go... One, two, three for big damage. Okay. That's good damage. That was really good damage, actually. Okay, and Sclepius gets his super, which is nice. Fear Revere. Okay. Love those crit misses, too. That blocked that. Don't need that. We can heal you. Okay. So we can go... Resurrection. This. I mean, we could do that again, or we could just do big damage. Probably better just go for the damage. We'll just go with this. Okay. <laughs> Debuff immune is going to be so nice, actually. Okay. Good. Come on, don't kill him. Dang it. My boy. Look how he, they massacred my boy. Mash time. Okay, good. Um, this does... This removes a cooldown for the... Um, by two, that's not enough. Okay, decrease the charge, Noble Phantasm strength up. Probably best we give that a shot. Just to get that again, keep going. Um, we can do that with you. We can do that. We can do this. Again, just doing as much as we can with you while we can, right? Um, we can even decrease the charge again here if we want. No, that's bring down. Never mind. Um, so let's go one, two, three, just to do as much as we can here while you're still alive. Hopefully you heal a bit here. Okay, you got your super. Okay, good. Terror didn't work. That worked. Okay, good. Um, defense up with you. Yeah, God, you're so good here, actually. Skill cooldown for two. It's not enough. It's not enough. You're going to die. We could go target focus on you. Sure. Right? Just to hopefully have her target her. So then let's go... We could do a big calm. Actually, that's probably going to move her to the next phase anyway. So let's go one, two, three to get that going. Okay. God, there's still another whole two bars. Okay, good. Not enough overcharge, but that's fine. Okay, what are you getting? Permanentation something? Wait, why'd you give me... Why'd you give us a bunch of stuff? She just buffed us? Like, why? Yo, this song's popping off, though. Get that healed on you. Okay. This is actually not going too bad then. So let's go 
One, two. We do three. That does do healing up with you. So that should go one, two, three to get even more healing going. Oh my god. This ain't going too bad. I'm shocked. I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have said that. What nefarious... Is this literally going to be her giving us an easy one? Just so that we can, like, feel secure about it. And then the last one, she's like, by the way, get a refund. And she gets all the stuff that she gave us. Or something stupid, right? Here, revere. Okay. Okay. Defense up. We can sap your meter, which might be nice. Right? Decrease charge, increase strength. Then we could do a, a nice combo with you, actually. Right? So let's give that a shot, because now we can do a, a full combo with you here, where we go one, two, three. Okay, let's give it a shot. You are defense down still, too. That is good damage. That's really good damage. Is that going to be enough? Yes! That's fine. Last phase, baby! Samsara Koyanskaya. That's not good. That's really not good. Okay, wait, let me check. Strength up debuff against those that are debuffed. Ooh, okay. Oof. Okay. Mash has guts. You two... Okay, you'll survive. I'm gonna pop this on you just so that you survive a little longer. Right? Although I should have... I could have saved that for next turn, too. I think it's best to just do as much damage as we can ASAP, huh? Mash is alive, though not for long. Yeah, there you go. You get that heal and that attack up. Okay. Alright. I don't think we have anything to really get, get through this, huh? I mean, we could stun... Good. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Um, let's go. We should try and get Tamamo's. I mean, or we could just go big damage. No, we should probably try and get Tamamo's super here. Well, let's go one, two, three. Okay. She does have guts, too. Okay. The 5,000 is just enough to be annoying, huh? Pop this on you. Right? Pop this on you. Just in case. Right. We can't use it because your thing. Buster card up. No. Increase all allies attack. Might as well do that for now. Okay, let's go one, two, three. Because with her, I was going to say with her all defense stuff, it should be fine. But she's really not. If she survives, she might be able to heal back up. But we'll see here. Ominous star. Yikers. Okay, and you're done. That's not good. Okay. Oof. And you're stunned. Okay, well. Pop that on you. Okay. Um. Dang, man. This ain't too great. We're, we're going to come real close to beating this and then lose at the end, huh? That's really what's going to happen. Okay, well, let's see here. Mind you, we could do this to you, too. We'll see here. Okay, so now we can go... Okay, we're close to getting that at least, which is very nice. We can do a full combo with you here, which will be good. Get that heal going, right? It's a small heal, but it's a heal nonetheless. 
It's only 2,000. It's not a ton. I mean, every little bit counts, but it's not a ton. Okay. Ah, oh, frick, there's terror. Well, wait, we could do... That's free now. We could do a triple buster combo with you. That's not bad at all. Right? Let's try this. Let's go one, two, to hopefully do enough that this kills through to the last part. And then the extra hit might be able to do it. Let's see here. Okay, I think that this is definitely going to get through to the final phase. The question is, how much guts is it, right? Okay, overkill, yep, how much? That's a lot! Haze, Dazzle, chance to evade! Okay, I hate that. That sucks. That really sucks. Because there's no sure hit or anything. Dang! I could do a full combo with you here and like just to try to try to hit seems like my best choice honestly. Just trying to hit as much as I can. Or I could try and get super with her. Super gives me less cooldown, which is good because then I can stun her, right? Let's try for more super, okay? Evade. Okay. Oh, this is... No, because one of them's going to die and she's going to get back up. Dang it! Ooh. Pop this on yourself. Okay. Just do the best that you can for now. Cool. Chance, huh? We're going with the word chance. And terror. Okay. <sighs> we came damn close. We came damn close. I'm going to take the L and just pop my pop my 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 thing. Yeah, just All right. You know what? I think if 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 I wanted to waste another hour, I could easily beat this brute force it, but uh nope. That's fine. These are free to use, and I just need to get to the next boss within three days. Okay, all right. Um, well, we did pretty good, all things considered. Right? All right. So, let's go one... Two, three. All right. Again. You know what? I, I, I feel more proud of that, at least. Than how I did with Demeter. I think this one feels easier than Demeter, too. Mind you, again, this one I, I took a couple tries, so. And I did look up, like, the servants that could actually help. And, like, Gorgon did nothing, so maybe if I replaced Gorgon with someone better, then we could have, but. Okay. 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 That's fine. That's fine. I'm so curious as to where the story goes that I'm fine with taking the L on this so I could see where this goes. Will we learn what this what this beast is called? Will we? I hope so. Cuz uh I'm interested in learning. But did we like beat her or did we just push her back, right? I can't figure her out. I can't tell I can tell there's something there, but that's it. I've got no idea what it could be. So how the hell has she given off this pressure? Since when does this magical energy alone make something tangible? 
Feels like she could blow up this whole damn lost belt if I end up poking her the wrong way. She's roaring. She's about to blast the whole area. It's not only that. She means to end this battle now. At least we're not... We're the only... At least the one we're fighting here in this lost belt. I bet she does. I may not be able to get a solid read on her, but I can definitely tell she's out for blood. But as I say, it's all too easy to hide your head and end up showing your ass. And now her ass is mine. Followed by... Up here, bitch. Nice. <laughs> that got her good. Not bad, you crazy samurai. Not bad at all. How'd you know I love taking my enemies by surprise? A falling strike from a great height. I didn't even see the jump. But never mind that. Canis' strike finished her off. It looks like she's gone. Foo! Foo, foo, foo! No, she's not. She's... No wonder Fu always hated her. Your eyes? Enemy sermon is still alive and well. In fact, her spirit origin doesn't seem to be scratched. Why are you happy? Don't move, Saber. This is not where you are meant to meet your end. So, we have a lancer, a shielder, a master, and a coward who did nothing but stand back and watch. <laughs> that's me. Yes, that's enough for my formal debut. Unless, of course, you'd prefer to keep fighting until you all perish. That's enough, everyone. Stand down. It seems the situation has changed. I concur with Miss Atana's decision. So are you satisfied now, Miss Clay and Skyle? Was our combined effort enough to win you over? Yes, it was. You were neither too weak nor too strong. You were just right. Looks like there shouldn't be any problem with letting the gods of Olympus here deal with you. At any rate, now that I've had a good long stretch and my shoulders aren't so stiff anymore, why don't we stop all this fighting and prying so we can get back to our respective business? Don't worry, I wouldn't dream of breathing a word of this little tete-a-tete -tete to anyone else. Consider it a token of appreciation for giving me such a nice little massage. Can I take that to mean you won't mention this encounter to either Zeus or the Cryptos? That would be a great help, and I see no reason to refuse. We are very much working against the clock, after all. Good, then we have a deal. Just as well, I certainly have no interest in any representative of humanity who couldn't even see the real me. Can't even see the real me. Oh, interesting. We couldn't, we've... She wasn't hiding. We couldn't see her. All right, good luck growing even stronger with this Lost Belt. I do hope your battles here are fruitful and victorious. Interesting. She's finally gone, huh? Woo. Holmes, yeah? Got a lot of experience handling bitches like that or something? I wouldn't say that when I do have some experience dealing with spies. I'm not at all sure that would be the right category in her case. Confirming that, um, I'll call Beast Koi and Sky for the time being has retreated in her spirit form. The battle is over, Master. Great work, everyone! All we needed was three more command seals. Now, what about a second spot for you-know-what? Don't worry, we've got this. Luckily, the spot turned out to be right where Holmes thought it would be. I guess that weird shadowy monster you fought must have been hiding it. I already had the AI contact Caligula. He should be here any... Apologies for my tardiness. Damn, speak of the Emperor. It would be nice to take a little rest. But I guess I'll just have to wait. Now that our second objective has been fulfilled, let us hurry on to the final one. Let's go! Right, Master. Kind of weird that we fought the big boss of the second one. Which makes me really scared of what the third's gonna hold. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright, St. Quartz get. And the gallstone. Okay, well, okay, well, now we're back into it. Well, now I have a feeling I know what we're gonna meet at the end of this. Boy, if we're going right into another battle, oh boy. Oh, geez. All right. Thank you all for watching, guys. We'll see you next time for some more. Let's play Fate Grand Order, where we take on probably Aphrodite. We'll see you then, guys. Ciao.